good morning today's video is a get ready with me for a clean and dewy and glowy makeup look i will show you a full makeup tutorial on how to get this glowy and shiny <laughs> makeup done and um, i've been really 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 into this kind of makeup look this specific makeup today is for an evening event that i'm going to so i did a full get ready with me for this makeup look for a daytime look it will be a little bit less than this so it'll be a different video i'll be more than happy to do it but this specific look is for a evening event that I'm going to so if you want to see how I did this full face of makeup please keep watching all right face is prepped and I'm ready to go in with the makeup before I do that I wanted to show you two things one is a well a few things one is a packet that I've been super super excited for I've been um, thinking about this for a while almost almost a year I would say and I finally decided to purchase it because I saw so many beautiful reviews so many amazing reviews and results and I decided to go ahead and get it and I'm gonna do a review unboxing and a review with you a tutorial slash review slash unboxing all of the above with you in another video it won't be in today's video but it's the Dyson Airwrap <laughs> I am so excited for this I have again been thinking about this for almost a year because I know it's pretty pricey but um, it's gonna hopefully look amazing and hopefully I'm gonna love the results so that's one I was gonna show you um, I actually got the I think it's the all-in uh, I think there are two three different kinds this one is the the one that comes with four different heads I believe yeah four I haven't unboxed it yet it just arrived yesterday last night I got home late last night and I saw it in the mailbox I did unbox I did open the box but I haven't opened the um, little things yet on it so <laughs> that's one another one I wanted and please don't mind my hair um, I did sauna this morning I did steam room this morning plus working out today was not supposed to be hair washed I was not supposed to go to the sauna but I ended up going so I do have to um, wash my hair tonight when I get back or tomorrow morning so please don't mind my hair another one I received is from Mila uh, fancy the brand fancy and I'm loving this I did open it just to see how it works so that I can show you guys but it's a little uh, mirror that oh looks like um, this is a packet that comes with it comes with a little carry bag and it comes with a little um, cloth that you can clean it but look at this mirror this packet I'm in love with it because I do have a few different mirrors that I take around with me um, let me show you this is one from Merit Beauty that I'm absolutely in love with it's um, a like a brown leather kind of thing and then I have another one from clinic I don't know where oh it's in here another one from clinic it's um, like a little another pocket mirror but this one is a game changer it really is a game changer because it comes with a little charger and you can charge it right here and then this is the on and off button and it's in rose gold it comes with three different colors white rose gold and black so you can buy three different ones and it's it has an led light voila <laughs> and you hold it dims all the way up and it dims all the way down it does have these little stickies which i have to remove but it does have a regular size and then the 10x right here in love so i'm gonna use this today to do my makeup tutorial and remove these little oh my goodness i love it i'm actually gonna cover the 10x part right now for now because i'm only gonna use this part it's perfect it's perfect because when you're in the car the lighting in the car is so bad and so horrible like at night if you want to do a quick makeup update or if you're at a restaurant the lighting is bad anywhere that you are and the lighting is bad you can use it I mean genius 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 um, and this was gifted to me so thank you so much uh, fancy I'm in love with it I think the price was I think somewhere around uh, between uh, under $50 oh it's also not too heavy um, very very light so it's perfect for your bag and so I, I'm gonna use this today to do my makeup tutorial for you I did charge it a little bit so hopefully it has enough charge 
and um, that's it as far as packages I will definitely review the Dyson for you but what I did want to show you is how I prepped my face so today what I did about an hour ago I used this pork uh, purifying cleanser by Dr. Brandt um, I will link everything down in the description box below for you so you don't have to worry about writing them down or taking screenshots or anything like that so I used this cleanser today um, again I came out of um, the sauna and I cleansed my face with a uh, little cleanser and then I came home and I used this one then I went in with this milk um, toner pH balance moisturize milk toner it's uh, by glow oasis I think again I will link everything down in the description box below for you this is a toner I use then I went in with let me put this back so I can, <laughs> then I went in with um, my Clarins uh, hydro essential I have been loving this product um, this was also gifted to me but I don't know what I'm gonna do when this runs out <laughs> <laughs> buy more but I'm in love with it I've already used it for two weeks now and it smells first of all every time I open it I have to smell it smells fantastic smells like heaven and it feels like mm, uh, silk it feels so smooth on the face for normal to dry skin and it actually sells silky cream I just saw that I just saw that, saw that it's a silky cream but I've been obsessing over this and I introduced it on, over on my Instagram if you don't follow me please check out my page um, I do post a lot of stories on there when I receive products but it's one of my absolute favorites this eye cream also by Clarins is called Total Eye Lift and I have been using this for almost six months if I'm not mistaken or five months definitely over four and a half or five months um, I put a little bit of this this morning about an hour ago so that's how I prepped my face so prepping is really important when you want a glowy and dewy makeup because I'm not sure if you can see already but my face already has like a little bit of glow to it like on my high points right here and right here oh and I did um, of course uh, put in my SPF by Elta MD skincare UV clear um, SPF 46 this is the one I've been using for years and years and years and I love it and I put this on today as well so that's done as far as skincare now we're gonna go in with makeup so the first thing I do always is I put a little moisturizing spray go in with this clinic um, hopefully it's everything focuses for you I go in with the moisture surge face spray and um, this go this lasts me a long time as you can see it's like right here right now and I bought this about six months ago so I sprayed this all over four five pumps usually enough for me and I go in with a little fan to make sure it dries before I put anything else on not too dry because you want that moisture still so after I do that I go in with a glow serum now I have two different ones that I use regularly this is by Merit Beauty this one is a glow serum um, instant glow serum and then I have this other one that my sister gave me it's by keys uh, let me glow serum this one is also fantastic but today I'm gonna be using the merit beauty so what I usually do I put one little pump in my hand and this one I can do on camera no problem but all the other ones I need my little mirror I go in I put it on my cheeks and my forehead then I go in and I try not to rub things in when I'm doing my makeup and I, did, I learned this thing the hard way <laughs> I um, used to rub everything in that I used to put on my skin but then I remember I learned that when you tap it in like that just tap 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 it um, looks much better so yeah so that's the glow, uh, glow serum after the glow serum I don't put any primers for glowy skin because I don't want that matte look I'm sure there are primers for glowy skin but I'm not gonna use any today let me see if I can put my hair up I usually don't use these I usually don't I haven't been using them in, in a long time um, unless I'm going to the gym but I'm gonna use it right now because I have to put my hair up so that I can show you my makeup a little better clip is great but um, I don't know, I feel like maybe have my hair up. All right, that's better. 
Okay, all right, there we go. For foundation, I have been using two different ones. 99% of the time I use this um, CC cream, but if I'm going to like every day, even work, meetings, whatever I have during the day, I put this on. If I'm going out like tonight, um, I put in a little bit of foundation, just a little bit, like maybe half a pump and it goes for my whole face because I want that dewy look and I don't want that cakey foundation look. And it took me 30 something years, <laughs> a long time, to learn that um, cakey makeup doesn't look good. Like too much makeup doesn't look good. So this is what I've been going with. Um, Giorgio Armani, I've been using it for 10 plus years, maybe even 12 plus years. Um, my shade is 6.5. So I put a little bit of, honestly, half a pump of this. Then I use my Merit uh, Beauty brush. This is one of my absolute favorite brushes for foundation. Let me get my little mirror out so I can see. <laughs> All right, then I go in, I take a little bit, put it on this side, make it closer, put it on this side, and I take a little bit more and put it on this side, and the rest. On my forehead then I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this in and I know I have a lot of um, discolorations on my face I will use a little bit of concealer to hide that but I haven't been hiding a lot of my spots lately I've just been leaving it like that so and honestly uh, my friend's dad the other day saw me and he's like he's been seeing me I've been going over there for a few weeks now and he's like and he never talks about makeup like he never talks about outfits or anything like that and he goes whatever you're doing to your face and with your makeup lately just keep doing it and that was one of the biggest compliments ever because I'm like <laughs> this guy never talks about makeup or anything like that <laughs> so I try to blend it um, all over my neck too just bring it down a little bit like so then that's it then I'm gonna go in with my concealer I've been using Tarte um, shape shape tape is it shape tape yes shape tape um, concealer in shade 227 H light medium honey now I've been a little unhappy with this I'm sure you've seen it in my previous videos that I love this product but I've been a little um, unhappy about the packaging honestly and two of my friends have this actually and I saw it on their vanity the other day and this didn't happen to theirs but I have like three I think I showed this to you in my other video this one I cleaned up but look at this one I mean it all comes out it's just so bad because I can't take it anywhere with me so but anyways, I love the product. It's amazing. So I go in. I don't know what these are, but they've been here for a few weeks now. And this is one of the longest times that I've had um, a breakout like that. I mean, I don't know. It might be my hormones. So honestly, guys, that's about it. I just um, cover the dark spots a little bit. Then I go in with a sponge beauty blender. I haven't been wetting my beauty blender for this when I blend in the concealer because I don't know if it's my skin, if it's oily or whatever, but it starts like picking it up in a weird way. So honestly, that blends it in perfectly without mm, making this wet before. So I just go in and press it in. I just push it in like that and a little bit of my forehead. And voila, that's it. So we're not done with the face yet. So next up we have um, eyeshadow. So with eyeshadow, I'm, to be honest, I'm really, 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 really bad at putting eyeshadow on. I just do it very, very quick, very simple look. So I've been using this Tarte Let Tarte Let eyeshadow palette, and these are the my, some of my favorite colors that I've been using. And I will give you the name of the ones I'm using. I'm gonna use the Natural Beauty one. So I take this a little bit, honestly for me, eyeshadow is the quickest part of my makeup. <laughs> so I take it with my MAC uh, 217 blending brush and I put a little bit at the end. 
and then I take a little bit more eyeshadow, put it on this end, like that, like that. Then I blend it in towards this part of my nose right here. I do the same on this side. I know some makeup artists or some people that are so good at makeup are probably like, oh my god, what is she doing? But honestly, with when it comes to eyeshadow, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so I just put it on. Honestly, I have no clue. Then I blend in some more. I feel like overall, I'm happy with my makeup, but I honestly don't know how to do my um, eyeshadow. And I've watched so many videos. Then I'm gonna take in a smaller blending brush. It's also MAC 221. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of darker shadow just to go, like I'm gonna take the Dreamer right here. It's a little bit darker. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit. I'm gonna dab it on my towel so that it's not going all over the place. And I'm gonna go in underneath my eye. A little bit on this side, a little bit on this side. Then I blend it in. Just a little bit on the lower lash. And if I have any extra, I put it in the corners of my eyes. This is the way, this is my routine. The way I do my makeup is um, foundation first, then eyeliner i mean eyeshadow and i'll tell you why i do it because when i put my eyeliner right after the eyeshadow then i go in with concealer underneath it because then i can see exactly where my eyeshadow um eyeliner ended so that way i can be exactly right next to where i put the eyeliner uh, for eyeliner i'm using benefit uh they're real i actually been kind of happy with this so i go in i've i've only been doing the outer half of my eye when it comes to eyeliner so first i do a diagonal line like that then i connect it to the outer half i realized with eyeliner it doesn't look good on me when i have uh, a full line like that that's it then i go in on this side so hard doing it on camera and not having a big mirror in front of me but i'll manage like as you can see i only do the outer part and don't worry about this bottom part i'll clean it up with Concealer. When I put concealer, it all goes away. And that's it. That's for eyeliner. Then, first, I gotta clean this up a little bit before I put my concealer. For a remover, I use this Elizabeth Arden All Gone Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. Been using it for many many years I just put a tiny little bit on a cotton pad and I swipe it under my eye and same on this one just a little bit so that I can remove the eyeshadow then I go in with a dry part and I pat it in to make sure it's dry Then concealer time again. So then I take the same concealer. Now it's the eye area. I go in right here and right here. I do two diagonal lines up like that. And I go in the corner of my eyes a little bit right here. And I want to put a little bit more because for some reason it's not covering these. I'm just going to leave it on for a little bit and then blend it in. And we'll see how it goes but you don't want to put too much too many layers so I always put a little bit and if I need more I can always add on but if you put too much then it'll kind of be hard <laughs> so I'm gonna just blend in the eye part 
and I'll leave the face part so I kind of go like up like that because it kind of gives me like a lifted eye look like so you can already see it's like it looks like my eye just got lifted like that's fantastic the things you can do with makeup you know I've always as a kid loved my favorite thing to do was watch someone put makeup on and the second favorite thing was uh, watch someone um, wash the dishes I don't know what it is <laughs> but I've loved doing that like when the moment someone wants to put makeup on I'm like oh my god can I come in and watch you and I just like to sit there's like therapy for me and I just watch people put, put on their makeup so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do I still do it like my sister or my mom or whoever is around me my friends we usually don't get ready together but um, when someone's putting their makeup on I'm like please can I watch then I'm gonna blend this part in okay that's a little bit better it's blending in and now then blend 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 that's much better now all right now we're gonna go in with bronzer so for bronzer I have two different ones that I use I today I'm gonna use the Sai Beauty bronzer which has been one of my favorites in color medium uh, sun melt medium bronze I don't know which one's the color but it says sun melt medium brown um, me medium brown sorry this is the color I'm gonna go with today the second one I always love using is by Dibs Beauty and one side is a blush I haven't been using a bl the blush a lot but the other side is a bronzer and I'm absolutely in love this one is the 5.5 100% recommend so today I'm gonna go in with the uh, say beauty so for this one I'm gonna use my um, Murphy M536 blush uh, brush not blush <laughs> brush so the way I do it is I kind of dab in my brush like this so I have plenty then I'm gonna start right on my um, bone right here and kind of put it on and I'm not gonna put all all, all on one side then put on the rest of it on this side then I'm gonna go ahead on my forehead and again I always like to put a little bit then add more rather than just putting a bunch and then not knowing what to do with it and it's gonna mess up my whole makeup so then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in I need a little bit more so I'm gonna get a little bit more okay gonna get a little bit more again just dab 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 and this one goes a long way I feel like this is gonna last me a year <laughs> and I don't use it every single day I have like a few other ones that I use and right here I always get it on my um, earring always and they're white pearl but what I love about it is that it's white but it has this like pink tone to it so sometimes it looks like <laughs> it doesn't look like I got makeup on it all right then again forehead and I contour my nose with a different one different brush because this one's too big then I'm just gonna blend 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 with the same brush and I always go down my neck make sure don't worry about these harsh lines, I'm going to blend it in. <laughs> um, so then, I'm just going to go down my neck to make sure. Then I'm going to clean this brush a little bit before I blend it in because I don't want the white part, uh, the, the concealer part to get. I don't worry about the top too much because I'm going to put blush and um, highlighter. So that all gets blended in okay then whoops this side needs more blending <laughs> all right I'm just gonna blend 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 all right then blend the forehead more I think that looks good let me look at my big mirror for a second <laughs> Yeah, that looks okay for now. All right, we can come back to it if we need to. For um, now, blush time. So for blush, I use, again, a combination of 
a few different ones. Here are my top three. Number one is this cream by Merit Beauty. And what I love about this is this is a no mess. You don't need to do anything. You open it and you just um, place it whenever, wherever you want. Actually, maybe you do need a blush uh, brush <laughs> or something to blend it. Um, my other, no particular order. I love these three equally. It just depends on what kind of makeup I'm doing and uh, if it's night time, daytime, where I'm going, the occasion. So it all depends. No particular order. And then this drop elephant, uh, dr drunk elephant drops, <laughs> drunk elephant drops that I absolutely love as well. And then the Say Beauty. Um, I'm gonna use this one today because of the color I'm going for. So with this one, also a little bit goes a long way. And I love the applicator. So what I'm gonna do with this one is put three dots on each side. One, two, three, like so. One, two, three, a little bit more, okay. And I put a tiny little dot on my nose. Then I'm gonna go in with the same brush. Please don't judge me, I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is just works what works for me and what has been working for me and I'm learning every single day so if you have any tips or ideas or whatever I always 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 welcome it um, actually my hair video the one I did how to grow hair I got so many helpful comments and I really appreciate you guys because again as I mentioned before this is a community and I love 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 hearing what you guys have to say your opinions about my videos like some someone said the lighting was too much at one time and she said i can't see the product so i appreciate all those feedbacks because i'm learning as i go this is brand new to me as well almost um it's going to be two years in about four months five months i think that i've had my youtube channel so i'm also new to this so I would love to hear your feedbacks, your opinion, and I do appreciate you guys being here. So please feel free to give me your opinion, um, feedback, help, anything that can help me and others that are reading or watching. So yeah, I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is just um, what works best for me. And I'm, again, learning every single day what uh, looks best on my skin. So with the blush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend both sides at the same time because I'm I have a little bit too much on my brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and blending is really 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 important okay blend same time then I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit get a little bit of the product off of the brush then go in again and blend some more again this is a nighttime look so I am going a little bit more dramatic. If it was daytime, I would have probably done a lot less of everything. <laughs> I usually don't do this much makeup, but if it's a night event, I do. All right, then that's for blush. I hope it all blend and I can't see. If it didn't, I usually go in with my same beauty blender that I use and kind of blend everything a little bit more. Again, blending is like the skincare underneath it. They're both so important. The skin underneath your makeup is so important and so is blending. These two things together. So this looks like a sun-kissed kind of tan like look. So because you're going with a dewy look. Blend, blend, blend. Then time for contour. And my camera is about to um, end on me, so I gotta hit restart in about 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds. I'm gonna hit restart because every 30 minutes of recording, um, it gets done. So I gotta. So for nose contour, I'm gonna go in with the same exact um, bronzer. This time I'm using the this small brush right here, Murphy M173. So I take a little bit more and i go ahead and contour this side of my nose so for me i go from anywhere from the bottom of my eyebrow right here again because this is a night look i would not usually do this for daytime and i bring this all the way down and my nose i feel like doesn't need that much contouring i don't know i just feel like a little bit is great 
Um, then I go in with the bigger brush and I blend it in. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, that's for nose contour. And as far as um, highlighter now, let's talk about highlighters. I also have a few different ones. It all depends on the day. I also have three, I think three top ones that I use. Um, oops, one of, one of them is by Merit Beauty. This one is usually for my day look because this gives you the minimalist, effortless look. This is my for my daytime. Today I'm not going to use this one. Then um, I have these two by Dibs. Guys, obsessed. This one, let me put it on my collarbones for a second so you can see. I usually put a little bit on my collarbone when I have strapless dresses on and a little bit here and I blend it in. But I'm using this tonight, so I'm gonna show you the third one I have is by MAC and it's called Global Glow. Gl global, Global Glow. <laughs> this one is absolutely stunning but because i'm going with this glowy clean girl makeup look i'm gonna use everything cream so um i'm not gonna use a powder one but usually uh, for nighttime looks i use that one so what i'm gonna do with dibs i'm gonna put a few dots on this side a little bit more a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more and then on this side as well You can see, yeah. Oh, yeah, put a little bit here and tiny little on my forehead, right on the cheekbones. It's actually hurting <laughs> my head, <laughs> okay. And a little bit here, a little bit here. I hope you can see it. this stuff magic. Then I have to blend in my this area here. I'm gonna do it in the big mirror so I can see. Oh, I'm loving this. This is stunning. Obviously I need more glow right here, but I am wearing a strapless uh, dress, so I need to do more work here, but I just wanted to show you, kind of give you an idea. Then I need to blend this in. So for the highlighter, I always use my fingers to blend it in because the warmth of your, of your fingers I think works best for me for a highlighter. All right, I'm gonna clean my fingers. Let me see. Gotta look at this mirror too. Perfect. You guys, this mirror is my new favorite. All right, next we're gonna go with lips because it just looks so bad when I don't have my lips done. <laughs> my lips and eyebrows, I feel like they're the most important part of your makeup. Lips and eyebrows. So we're gonna go for lips. Uh, li for lips, I'm doing Charlotte Tilbury. I have a few different ones that I put on. So Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, lip pencil. All right. I like to a li little bit over line my lips. pillow talk set obsessed with it in love with it then I'm gonna go in with the same exact lipstick uh, pillow talk I'm gonna make sure I'm using the right one because I have three four different colors three or four lipstick on then like so then I want a little bit pink so I'm gonna go in with my um, Mac beauty lipstick it's called coral bliss is it this one or this one no i'm gonna go in with sunny salt today they're very similar let me show you both um coral bliss is a little bit more pinkish orangish i'm sorry orangish but this is the one i'm gonna go with today so i want that like pink glow it's springtime so oops this is out too much it's springtime and it's my favorite time of the year. It just makes me so happy. The moment we hit March, my heart is so happy. I'm always happy, but I get extra, extra, extra happy when March hits because also it's Persian New Year. 
is on the 20th of March, first day of spring. That's when we celebrate our New Year's. And um, what else is my brother's birthday in March, my dad's birthday in March. Start of the spring and I mean just everything is so beautiful. It's my favorite month of the year and it just, favorite season of the year, makes me so happy. All right, then I'm gonna go, um, I did that. Then I wait a little bit, few minutes uh, before I go in with my Dior Lip Maximizer. This is in shade 001. Then I put a little bit of this on because I want my lips to be nice and juicy. <laughs> For this one, I only put it uh, right here and right here. That's it, I don't put it on my whole lip, I just put it front like a little heart okay just messed that up gotta go in I just messed it up I was trying to there we go all right now another important part what is that um eyeliner uh eyebrows eyebrows and mascara and then we will be done very shortly all right for first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up and this uh spoolie i gotta cut my eyebrows a little bit so bear with me please let me do that quickly let me cut my eyebrows quickly i gotta trim them a little bit I never do this after makeup because it gets sometimes stuck on my face. But, oh, they're long. Okay. Yeah, I usually do this before makeup, but I completely forgot. Just a little bit. Not too much today because... All right, there we go. Now I have hair all over my forehead. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go in and um, with my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. This doesn't hold my brows up, you guys. I mean, I know they said it's one of the best, but I have such stubborn brows. I mean, it does hold it a little bit, I feel like, but um, oops, I do this after. So, the reason I do it after is because I know it says do it before, but when I do it before, I can't draw on it. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that problem, but I completely forgot. So, for eyebrows, um, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty number 7 black brown for this part of my brows because it is super, super thin. And I'm going to do hair strokes two on this side and two or three on this side I messed up this side I did not a straight line so I gotta fix it all right so I'm sorry if you can't see so right there I'm just gonna go up and I don't do a line at the bottom right here I start the line like mid right here I'll show you how I do it but the front of my eyebrows I do tiny little hair strokes like that with my Huda Beauty then I go in with my I always have a brush in my hand when I do this part um, I go in with my Benefit uh, brow pencil and number five number five so I brush it up oh this turned off all right turned off then I go in and kind of uh, follow my natural brow shape and for top I do tiny little strokes hair strokes and then I start my line like right here so mid brow make sure your hand is stable because if it's not you're gonna mess it up <laughs> so make sure you're not shaking or anything like that sometimes I my hands start shaking because I'm nervous when I'm doing my makeup okay and then same on this side I do the top first do you guys see the glow I really hope you do on camera I really really hope it shows but 
skin is glowing okay like that then the bottom of the brow I go in with a line like so and I don't do the whole like um, concealer to clean up the top and bottom um, I don't know I just feel like it looks good I, don't, I feel like I don't need it and so this part I do tiny little strokes to just fill it in a little bit and same on this side I don't do crazy like harsh lines because you want this side to look very natural all right there we go that's for eyebrows and next we're gonna go in with the oh my god I got uh, lipstick on my teeth <laughs> a lipstick on my teeth <laughs> removed it all right then I'm gonna go in and dip uh, the reason I uh, bent my spoolie like this is because it's um, like harder to dip this in here um, so I bent it a little bit and then I dip it in and again this doesn't hold my brows up that much like it's great now it looks great now but then it also like comes down at the same time so sometimes it looks like my eyebrows drooping but it's okay for now I mean I've tried so many different things and nothing works my eyebrows are so freaking stubborn and they're like spring they're so so hard like each hair is like you can't bend it like it's like a very hard spring so <laughs> all right that's for eyebrows next up we I do mascara last all right so for mascara I've introduced this mascara in so many of my videos and it's one of my favorites so first I curl it and I know um, I'm not gonna heat this up and I know some people do I'm just so lazy when it comes to doing that and I feel like when I do heat it up sometimes it like breaks my eyebrow in like a very um, I yeah I no eyelashes in a very harsh line so I don't do it I just um, it works for me it makes my lashes I'm happy with it so uh, the curler I'm using today is Shumera Shumera yeah Shumera I love it I've been using it for I don't want to tell you how old I am though <laughs> I'm kidding I'm uh, using it for like 14 years 15 years then I'm gonna go in with a primer eye, eyelash primer um, it's uh, by L'Oreal uh, voluminous primer and this is also great I've been using it for many years I kind of close my eye at the beginning when I'm doing this because I want this to go top and bottom like so I love this lip combo I did a TikTok video about um, hair heat protectants heat protectants and I had this lip combo on and people were like where's your um, what is your lip combo and it looks so amazing and uh, I posted it over on my Instagram and story not um, not like post post I posted it on my uh, Mm, my god Instagram story and so many people are like oh my god did you get lip fillers I'm like no it's Dior <laughs> uh, honestly this Dior gives me such a nice juicy lip makes me so happy but um, the mascara I'm using the Ilia there we go and they have a few different ones that look very similar so make sure it's the fullest volumizing mascara I know they have uh, three, four different ones and are, they're all very similar in color because I was about to get the full size one and I saw that they have like, f oh my gosh, I messed up the bottom. Oh well, they have three, four different ones. So make sure you get the right one if you want. I mean, this is the one that works for me, whatever you want, but I've been so happy with this mascara. So what happens when I mess up at the bottom, I wait until it completely dries, then I go in with a clean spoolie and I kind of like scrape it off. So I did a short, actually, um, not a YouTube short, but a short uh, get ready with me over on my TikTok channel. And it took me forever to do it, but I'm so happy with it because I had to record with the TikTok app so that I can edit it on the spot. And post it 
so I was pretty happy with it. I'll try to do more shorts and more get ready with me. It's like short videos and more. Um, uh, I'm loving this. I honestly love this glow that this makeup gives me. <laughs> My friend's dad was so funny. He's like, whatever you've been doing lately to your makeup. <laughs> He's adorable. All right, I think I'm done. Let me check my big mirror. Yes, I think I'm done. All right, so the last step is, uh, let me turn this off. This was honestly, you guys, this is one of my favorite things that I've had and I'm loving it. And the packaging is just so cute, so adorable. I didn't pick this color. Again, this was gifted to me. I didn't pick this color, they sent it to me and I'm like, thank you for not sending me black or white because Rose gold, yes. Like, I love the rose gold. All right, last step, I'm gonna take my little fan again. <laughs> I'm gonna take my little fan. And for, I'm already fanning myself. For um, uh, finishing sprays, setting sprays, I use two different ones. The, this is the one I use on a daily basis, like I'm going to work or if I'm at home or doing my makeup, or whatever. It's the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Spray. But the one I'm gonna use today is by um, Hourglass and it's called Veil and I know this is for like a uh, matte look but this looks great on me when I have the dewy makeup I don't know why I put my mirror away I need my mirror actually so I put this on and I immediately fan it because I don't if I put too much on I don't want it to go all over the place and it immediately dries I need one of those like fans. I've seen people on TikTok like the handheld ones. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna put my hair down so you can see what it's gonna look like. Definitely have to give my hair some love before tonight, but I definitely can't wash it. I won't have time to wash it. Or anything like that but this is the final look mm, this is up close let it bring the camera closer so you can see there we go it's such a beautiful glow and I really hope you can see all of the glow on camera but it's been my go-to makeup look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for, I'm gonna put my hair up again. Stay tuned for the review slash tutorial for the Dyson Airwrap. I'm so excited. If you have any tips, please do let me know because I know some people used it and they do it wrong and it turns out looking bad and they're unhappy with it. But please let me know if you have any tips that could be helpful for me before I start doing the tutorial. But I'll definitely test it a few times until I know what I'm doing. Then I will do a tutorial for you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.